Good morning, guys. In my pocket right here, I have some local wisdom, some intel uh, that there is moose and grizzly bear in this area. So my friends in Canmore drew this map for me and this is where they've seen moose before. They're really into hiking so they've hiked this whole entire area. So basically we started here and we're driving this logging road all the way up and there's different lodges and different viewpoints along the route to hopefully, fingers crossed, spot some moose and I would be completely fine to see a grizzly bear as well. So let's go see what we can see in the beautiful Rocky Mountains right now. Yeah. Mount Agnadine, that's where we are right now. So uh, there's apparently a viewpoint kind of behind the lodge here. So the cabin that we were just at, or the lodge, is just right on that point there. And this is the area the moose come down. Now he says the best times to see them, about five in the morning or about 3.30, four in the evening. Um, or in the late afternoon. And so I'm gonna get the, uh, the long angle lens and kind of just scope this area. Maybe we will see one right now. Uh, I don't think that we're gonna stay that long. It's, it's uh, about 10 o'clock right now. We wanna to start to make our way to Red Deer. But uh, this is definitely an area that I would love to come back to. This Canmore Banff area with these mountains and all this wildlife, um, I would love to come back here. The one thing that me and Rebecca both said is, is that BC is kind of in our backyard. We can come here whenever. We could do a week trip and just explore this area. But what we can't do is casually drive across Canada. And so we're kind of shortening our time here. Um, to have more time on the East Coast, the place that we can't get to, uh, that isn't just a drive away for us. And so that's kind of the plan. Um, you may think that I'm kind of rushing through some areas, there's lots to see here, I understand that, but we definitely want to spend more time in the East Coast and then uh, to, uh, uh, travel this area plenty more in the future. Oh, that's neat, there's a jet just up there. Oh, you can see the, the trail. I, I really can't, I, I, I'm kind of um, lost for words with how beautiful this area is. I really am. So we just got finished our detour uh, through that logging road and now we're out back on a Trans-Canada Highway. Now, can you see the mountains behind me? Can you see them? So here's the mountains and that's heading, uh, basically that's heading west into the mountain range, into the Rocky Mountains. Now, look right or east and that's heading into Alberta or towards Calgary, Red Deer area. You can tell the difference. So this right, this road, Highway 40 is basically right when the prairies start. So it happens to uh, everyone traveling. I got a um, I don't even know what, what it is. I got something in my tire right now. If you want to bring the camera over here just a little bit, you can hear it. And uh, it's slowly losing air, slowly losing air. And so it's at about 60 right now. We're gonna take this truck camper and my truck over to my dad's house. That's where I'm gonna actually unload the truck camper and then I'm gonna fix this tire. 
but I just wanted to show you guys that I finally arrived in Red Deer. I was all excited. I was showing Rebecca around and uh, I, I got something in my tire, which is too bad, but uh, yeah, just part of uh, traveling across Canada. You're gonna have flats here and there. Okay guys, the plan is uh, I'm gonna park this camper out from my uh, grandparents' house right now and then I am going to uh, get it changed tomorrow. So just take the weight off the tire. Uh, I'll give you guys a quick time lapse and then after that time lapse, I'll uh, start the vlog tomorrow. <laughs> Is it morning yet? <laughs> It's 7.30 in the morning, and we're gonna go get this tire fixed. Hopefully, hopefully, there's still some air left in it. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if I can drive this slowly to the shop. All right, so the plan right now is to take the tire off. Uh, that is one thing that I love with the dualies is having a flat isn't the biggest deal, especially hauling that truck camper. If you were to get a flat or if one tire was to blow on the back, you're not completely um, uh, screwed, <laughs> basically. So uh, I'm gonna take that off, the tire off. I'm gonna leave it with Fountain Tire. They're gonna change it out today and then I'm gonna come pick it up and they're gonna put it back on for me. They said that they can't take it off right now because they don't actually have any uh, service techs in right now. So let's change the tire. You know, every great Canadian road trip has a flat tire, right? <laughs> it looks good, doesn't it? Let me show you what I did. So instead of having it faced inward, so it's about a foot in, I flipped the tire around and now it's on the outside, which makes way more sense just because you have a little bit more width and it kind of looks okay, <laughs> whereas before it looks just like it's not supposed to be there. Um, so I, I left it at Fountain Tire and I'm gonna go pick it up later today when they fix it, but it's on there, good. See the camper? Let's go wake the girlfriend up. Is somebody still sleeping? <laughs> I better not wake her up. She's still sleeping. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Do you want to wave to everybody? Do it again. There you go. <laughs> We're going to let her sleep just a little bit longer. So I'm parked out front of my grandparents' place. I'm hooked up to power. And, uh, Nanny! I'm vlogging! She just invited us in for uh, for pancakes. So we're gonna go have some pancakes. Look at this, we're getting phenomenal weather here in Red Deer. It's like plus 17 when we came in yesterday. We went from minus five in Canmore to plus 17. We couldn't ask for any any better weather, weather at this time of year. So um, uh, I'm gonna end the vlog here, guys. But then we are, tomorrow. Uh, next vlog, tomorrow's vlog, or today's vlog. We're gonna go explore. I'm gonna uh, show Rebecca my hometown, and um, and then we're gonna head out in a couple of days. Probably, we'll spend probably two more days here and then head out towards Saskatchewan, continue on our trip. I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Keep living that dream. Have some pancakes yourself this morning, because pancakes made by my grandma, fantastic. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.